for giving some examples he is intelligent he is lazy so how to join he is intelligent and he is lazy this is positive quality and this is negative quality so we will use for the most powerful effect we use the answer will be here he is intelligent but lazy or but he is lazy he is intelligent but lazy she is talkative but intelligent expert she is uh, uh another example let me use some other kind of example that she likes milk she doesn't like curd so how we can write like this that she likes milk but not curd or but not other milk products she may not be liking i neither not if she doesn't like fruits she doesn't like ice creams so how we will use that how we will make the sentence she neither likes fruits nor ice creams or juices what is an example she neither likes juices nor likes ice creams same way either or she prefers either tea or coffee means tea is also okay for her and coffee is also okay for her she can drink tea as well as coffee also so this type of examples are there for conjunction so again you pay attention here that conjunction is a word which merely joins sentences or sometimes words now the last one adverb an adverb is a word which modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb what was there in adjective what was there that it modifies it qualifies the noun only the noun and here what is the difference between an adjective and an adverb it it modifies some verb it gives some special meaning it adds to the verb it gives meaning to the verb it gives meaning to another adjective it gives meaning to another verb also sometimes another adverb also so an adverb is a word which describes modifies a verb a an adjective or another adverb for this i will give you some examples here the examples are quickly very and quite i have written this three words mostly there is a sign and symbol for you that adverb will be there with l y quickly wholly fully partially completely these are all the example words of an adverb so here this word we can use in some sentence and you can easily know the idea of adverb he ran quickly an adverb it shows the manner that how the work is done in what way what kind the work is done how often the work is done when the work is done see here i have written the basic uh, this is the when we use adverbs it clarifies when when we say that how the work is done when we say that when the work is done when we have to say that where the work is done when we have to say that how often the work is done in what manner in what kind the work is done that all is expressed by 
yet another examples. So you can always try children to make examples. Only then you will be having a very very good practice. You have to promise me for that that you are going to practice examples and for any query you can always comment. You can give. You can have the ideas because I wanted to ask you for the last videos also that whether only the text and my voice or speech will that be okay for you or preferable for you. So I wanted your valuable suggestions. So it's very okay with it. So how did you find that some changes were there in that video? So here he ran quickly. We can also say that he ran slowly. He ran nicely. She danced nicely. I ate slowly. Then here very. So here this is an adverb clear. We can easily identify this kind of adverbs which are ending with L what. And now here very. See very is also an used as an adverb. How? See it tells more about any particular adjective. For example if I tell that this mango is very so how the mango was then sweet? So sweet was a adjective. But here to that sweet or adjective very adds to the meaning. It tells something more about sweet. That how much sweet? The mango was very very sweet. So this very will be adverb. Here it adds more to the adjective sweet. So it qualifies also gives the meaning to the adjective. Now for this example, why? The glass is dirty. But how? Quite dirty. So here this quite also adds to the meaning of adverb. Like glass is dirty but quite dirty. So here the quite will be adverb. So it adds to the meaning of another